एवरी वन दिस इज सामिया एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टू डे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माई डेली रूटीन ऑफ लर्निंग इंग्लिश सो एज एवरीबडी नोज दैट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंग्लिश और एनी अदर लैंग्वेज देन वी मस्ट फोकस ऑन फॉलोइंग फोर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट लैंग्वेज विच इज स्पीकिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग एंड लिसनिंग and i'm a kind of person who focuses on following every single steps because in this way i feel that i am progressing and i am improving because i am putting effort i'm just trying my level best to achieve the fluency and just to get what i want but if i don't follow any of them then i feel that i am lacking and i'm not progressing anymore so for me following all these four steps every single day is extremely essential so the first thing i do every single day in the morning is to read book in english and i don't think i need to emphasize the importance of reading books because probably everybody is already aware of it so if you are someone who has this habit of reading books in that particular language which you want to learn then it can completely change your language skill it plays a significant role to enhance your language skill in that particular language because it will expose you to diverse range of vocabulary sentence structure verbs and uh, idioms phrases there are many things which you can learn just by adapting the habit of reading books in that particular language which you want to learn it's completely up to you to decide which type of book you prefer to read because there are a lot of people who prefer reading fiction books and i have also met people who always prefer reading non fiction books so it's completely up to you but i'm a kind of person who always prefers reading non fiction books so now let me show you which book currently i'm reading and how exactly i read books and at the end of this steps i will also be showing that how i enhance my vocabulary and what steps i actually follow to improve my vocabulary so let's get into that just done with reading today i had decided to read at least 20 pages well it's not something i read 20 pages every single day no it's not that most of the time i read half an hour or sometimes i read just for 10 just for 10 minutes or sometimes i read only 10 pages so it depends on the time i get or it depends sometimes it depends on my mood okay so the next thing i do after reading book is to make the list of vocabulary which i have marked on the books on the books or in the books actually i don't know about it so i need to google it first of all i will have to find out what it means okay so just let it be i will find out so now let me show you how i make the list of vocabulary okay so as you can see that this is my notebook where i wrote down all the words which i don't know the meaning of and along with that i have also written the example of those words like you can see these things Well this is my second notes I have completed one of my notes and this is my second one which I have been using which is about to complete prefer to write down only one or two example of that particular word but if the meaning of that word seems a little bit difficult to understand then I try to write down at least 3 to 4 example which helps me to understand things better there is another thing i would like to tell you that many times pronunciation gets really difficult because we don't understand how we are supposed to pronounce certain words so what exactly i do if that word seems extremely difficult for me to understand that how this word is going to be pronounced then i write down the 
pronunciation in Hindi that how I'm supposed to pronounce certain words. Like as you can see here and here, I have wrote down the pronunciation in Hindi. So now let me show you how exactly I make my notes of vocabulary, which helps me to enhance my vocabulary. So there's a word which I did not understand while reading is pertain. So I don't know the meaning of this word that what it means then i'm going to search it on google that what exactly it means and then i will be writing it down so that i can understand it and i can not forget it later Next thing I do every single day to enhance my English is to practice speaking in English. Well, I don't think I need to talk about the importance of practicing in English every day because everybody already knows it. But there's one thing I would like to recommend you that if you have this goal to speak English fluently one day and if you want to master English one day, then you must focus on speaking every single day with consistency. It does not matter how much free time you get, whatever free time you get, try to use that time productively. Try to use that time with speaking. When it comes to speaking, I have not set time for myself that I will be speaking at this time or at that time. Whenever I get free time, I try to speak. Sometimes I get free time in the morning before going to my university. Sometimes I get free time only at night. Sometimes I will be getting in the evening. So it depends on the day. And when it comes to how much time I dedicate to practice speaking in English, it does not really matter because sometimes I practice only for 15 to 20 minutes because I couldn't get enough time. But on the other day, I practice for more than an hour. So I just try to compensate. I try to manage and balance everything. There is another question a lot of people have in their mind that how to practice speaking in English. Should I practice just by myself or should I engage in a conversation with others? So there's one thing I would like to tell you that if you are someone who does not have enough confidence to speak in English right now and if you easily get nervous while speaking in English, then try to engage in a conversation with others because in this way you will be able to boost your confidence while speaking this particular language. But if you already have improved and you just want to maintain your fluency and you are learning English just because you want to improve a little bit, but you feel that you have potential to improve your English alone, then yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you like talking to people, then you can engage in a conversation with others. But I'm a kind of person who does not really engage in a conversation every single day with others. Mostly I try to speak just by myself because I feel this is an effective way for me. So you have to find out which one works better for you. Today I'm going to speak just by myself because yesterday I used an app where I did have conversation with someone. So I decided that today I will be speaking just by myself. But the question is what you are supposed to speak when you are practicing alone. So what exactly I do? I made a list of 30 topics which I will be speaking for the entire month and I pick one topic each day and try to elaborate that topic like what I understand from that topic and what are the things I should be talking about. So it's completely up to you what you want to talk about but make sure that you are talking about that topic. So my today's topic is hobby. So I would like to talk about hobbies. So first of all, I would like to talk about the importance of hobbies. And then I will be talking about what type of hobbies you can have. And the next thing I would like to talk about is my own hobbies. So let's start how exactly I speak. I believe every single person must have at least one or two hobbies because if you are someone who have hobbies and you frequently indulge yourself into those hobbies, then it will bring a lot of creativity in your life. It will make you a creative person and you will start thinking in a whole different way. Along with that, it will make you feel good. It will always bring joy and happiness in your life. Additionally, it will help you to reduce stress in your life which you have because of the work you do, because of your family, because of the social issue. Like there are many things because of them we get 
a lot of stress so if you are indulging yourself into doing something then it will help you to reduce the stress which you have and it will make you a better person and a happier person i feel every single person must have hobbies because it increases our knowledge and apart from these things it prevents us from getting into bad habits and getting into a uh, bad companionship which can literally spoil our life because if you're someone who does not indulge yourself into hobbies then you may feel that i have nothing to do then let me try something which is not appropriate then in this way you will be getting into bad habits but if you indulge yourself into good habits like you can follow any hobbies then it will help you to be become a better person so now let me talk about what type of hobbies one can have so recently i was reading an article where i read that every single person must have at least three types of hobbies one hobby we all need to have which can help us to be in shape which can helps us to be physically fit one hobby every single person must have which can help you to earn money and make your living and every single person must have one hobby which can help you to increase your knowledge when it comes to me i have many hobbies and i am passionate about all of them i try to make my time to follow each one of them so the first hobby i am extremely passionate about is baking like i literally love baking i have baked so many cakes and i think i got into it 2 years ago around 2 years ago because i love cakes and one day my mama actually told me that why don't you learn how to bake cake because you can't really go to bakery every now and then and then i started learning from youtube and after learning it for more than a year now i became a pretty good baker so like it is something i'm literally passionate about whenever i bake cake i literally forget everything even no matter how angry i am no matter how frustrated and how sad i am if i'm baking cakes then i just forget about everything next habit i have is to read books i literally love reading books because it helps me to understand that how i'm supposed to speak to someone what type of vocabulary i'm supposed to use in my conversation and along with that it helps me to know about something different which i have never thought another hobby i have is to learn languages like i'm literally passionate about languages and i have this goal to become a polyglot so basically polyglot is someone who can speak more than four languages so like i have this goal to become a polyglot although i don't know many languages but i have recently began learning few languages which i can't really disclose right now because probably in future i may not learn them so like i'm not very sure whether i would continue learning them for a very long time so right now i'm learning i can't really talk about it right now okay i'm done talking about hobbies because literally my throat is started hurting now so i i have to stop it right now i couldn't speak for a long time because i can't really record and upload it because then it would be too long so i just tried to mention all the things which i wanted to mention so i hope you understood that how exactly i practice speaking in english every single day so the next important step i follow every single day and that is listening i try to listen every single day as much as i can because in my opinion if i will be listening more and more then i have more chances to improve my english because i will be familiar with sounds i will get comfortable with this language and then i will be able to speak english fluently quickly when it comes to how much time i spend on listening then if i have to attend my class then i get pretty good amount of time because right now i'm going to attend my class and it will take me around 20 to 25 minutes to reach to my university and again i will get 20 to 25 minutes to come back home and i get pretty good amount of time to listen and improve my english it's not something i only listen to podcasts sometimes i watch videos as well but whenever i watch videos i make sure that i'm sitting in a place and i'm not in rush but when it comes to listening i can listen while i'm commuting i can listen while i'm walking so i can listen whenever i want but when it comes to watching i need to sit in a place so that i can focus on it right now i'm just going to attend my class and i have 45 to 50 minutes which i can spend on listening so yeah let's go
The next important step I follow every single day to improve my English is to write in English. This is a step many people neglect because they think probably it's not important and it's a kind of work we don't really want to do because it requires time and it gets a little bit boring. But let me tell you one thing that it is one of the most important part when it comes to improving your English. If you're a kind of person who thinks that I fumble a lot while speaking in English and I get stuck whenever I try to speak in English or probably I'm not able to construct proper sentences while while speaking in English then there's one thing I would recommend you that please build the habit to write in English because if you are writing in English it will help you to write down your thoughts and everything which is going in your mind and it will help you to understand that how you are supposed to speak whenever you speak sorry whenever you write it will help you to understand that how you are supposed to speak whenever you have to speak in English there is another question a lot of people ask that what I'm supposed to write because a lot of people have never written before so they get confused that what exactly I'm supposed to write because if I have to build the habit I do write for at least a few days and then I just left that because I just do I don't get clarity that what exactly I'm supposed to write so when I first started writing I was also feeling the same but what exactly I used to do I used to write down every single thing which was going in my mind like how exactly I spend my day what kind of people I have made what type of incidents I have have gone through and uh, is something weird happened or is something happened which I should be talking about like you can write anything sometimes you can write about your school life your college life like any incident which has happened to you so there are many things which you can write So that's all for today's video. I hope you really like this video and get some kind of clarity that how exactly I learned this language so that you can also get some idea that how you are supposed to do if you don't know if you're getting confused that what type of rule you should be applying and like what steps you should be following. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. So please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.